Hello fellow doll lovers, it's Janie. Welcome to another video on my channel. I am excited about this video because as you guys saw from the title, it is another doll haul with Rainbow High and Barbie that I got from various different places from A, the Walmart clearance section, B, for my birthday, and C, just from other stores like Ross. Um, and I am very, very excited. I even got a Barbie for $1 in the Walmart clearance section, which I think is absolutely out of this world. So I think the way I'm gonna do this is show you the dolls in the order that I got them. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started because we have a few dolls to get through and I am very excited to get them open because I've had some of these for at least a month and a half already. So I'm very, very excited. So I'm gonna show you the $1 doll first and it is this adorable Little Mermaid Barbie. So granted, it's not like a collector Barbie or anything for a dollar, but I still think that she's worth more than that. It's an adorable little mini mermaid Chelsea. Now, as you can see from the clearance sticker, she was $1, which is crazy. And I think it's from the Dreamtopia line. Um, if I pull the sticker off, I think you can see that it's, yeah, this is from the Dreamtopia line. Um, so I'm very excited to get her open. So I'm going to go ahead and cut to the chase and do that. So here we have her and I think that she is so cute. I love her so much. She has this amazing blue theme going on. She's very turquoise. She has really nice nylon turquoise hair with a purple tiara and she's got green eyes and she has a really pretty tail. Um, this is detachable. She actually came with it detached. I'm not gonna try and pull it off, but this came detached from it and you like just pop it in. And she's got some really nice molded detail on her tail and on her top. And she is articulated in the waist and then in the arms. So I am very, very excited about her. I think she was definitely worthwhile. I was very, very excited when I saw her and she was actually in a different clearance section. So the way they had it laid out was as you went into the garden, er garden area, sorry, they had a big long like table with all of the toys that were on clearance. And then they have a like a separate clearance aisle besides that that has all of their other stuff that isn't toys for clearance and she was just stuck up there with the regular stuff so i saw her and i was very very excited and i think she is super cute and i apologize for the lighting it's very shadowy in here but it is because it is very cloudy and overcast outside so i don't have a lot of good natural lighting however i am still filming this video because i want to show you guys what i got and the next doll i am probably the most excited about and this is probably um, one of my favorite Rainbow High dolls that I own. I really like the other one, the Emerald one with the vitiligo. I love that one, but I think this one is my next favorite after her. And her name is, what's her name? Simone Summers. And she is from the Rainbow High, like Pacific Coast line. And this is the second doll from that line that I have. I don't have any other ones. I have this one right here and so i am very very excited and she is so pretty i love her color theme and her long hair and i think her face mold is very unique you can't really see it because of the glare but she was on clearance for 19 dollars which is not super super cheap but considering that rainbow high dolls are usually like 40 dollars or like 39.99 or something like that i'm still very happy with it um, and so I'm going to go ahead and unbox her because I cannot wait to get her out. Okay, so here she is and she is absolutely gorgeous. Like, I don't know if her face is in focus, but she is so beautiful. I love her, at, like she has her edges done and I love her eyes in contrast with the rest of her. Like her blue eyes really pop with her like peachy salmon-y colors and her hair is so long and it's got like orange and yellow and pink all mixed in throughout. And she has this super cute swimsuit outfit on with a little wrap skirt and these little high heeled sandals. She is so cute and she has like holes for earrings, but she doesn't have any earrings, which is kind of confusing, but that is okay. She is absolutely gorgeous. And she came with a beach towel, a purse, which is amazing detail. It's made with actual like leather type material and it has little side. I don't know what these things are. Oh, it's little R, it's an R and H rainbow high. 
very cool. And then she also has a pair of these super edgy, cool sunglasses. And she also came with an extra pair of feet, um, I guess so that she has like flat feet so that she can walk on the beach and a doll stand. And also like instructions for how to put the legs on and everything upside down, the legs on. And also I think that this is, um, this is just another thing. It's like a consumer comment type thing. So she, I'm so excited to have her and I'm so excited to have added another rainbow high doll to my collection. I never thought I would have as many as I do. Um, just mainly because they're more expensive to buy than, you know, most regular playline type dolls. And I was never much of a like new doll collector. I usually get most of my dolls at thrift stores, but all of these rainbow high dolls I've either gotten on sale or as gifts or from like Facebook marketplace. So I am very, very excited and she is so beautiful. I'm so excited to have her. And I'm gonna go ahead and move on to the next stuff that I got. I got this doll at Ross. I got two dolls at Ross. I got this Tessa Virtue doll. She is so gorgeous. I love red, red's my favorite color. And she's got this gorgeous red dress and she also has beautiful dark hair and blue eyes. And I love figure skating. It's very close to ballet. So I'm very, very excited. And I don't remember how much she was. Oh, she was $12.99. So I got her at Ross for $12.99. And I'm going to go ahead and take her out of the box. All right. So here she is. She is, I love her dress. She is so, so gorgeous. The figure skaters have the amazing dresses with the low backs and they're so elegant and she is so stunning. I love her so much. She has a beautiful face and her hair is done in this low bun. It's kind of a ponytail because her hair's not very long, but it is a bun. And she has little silver earrings and she's got gorgeous dark lipstick on that matches her dress, which I love. And she has on flesh colored tights and she has white skating shoes, ice skates that have actual like silver painted bottoms. They're not just that like gray plastic that they use, they're actually silvery. And she is articulated at the elbow, the wrist and the knee, not in the ankle, but that is okay. And she also comes with a doll stand. I haven't put it together yet, um, but it's very easy. It's just the typical doll stand where it clips in and then it has a little part on top right here like so. And then she also comes with her certificate of authenticity, which is super exciting. And I love her. This is an, is a really gorgeous doll. And it's probably my favorite of um, this line that I have. I love the, um, like the high low. So it's got like the higher side and then it goes down and then it has a little bit of a slit in the side as well. She's so exciting. And then the other doll that I found at Ross, I'm very excited about. It is another Barbie extra minis. And this is my favorite one that I found so far, I think. I think she is so fun in like this green like jumpsuit with her little beanie, with her purple hair. And how much did she cost? She was $6.99. So she had actually been reduced. So she was originally, I wanna know how much she was originally. Hold on, I'm gonna try and peel this sticker off a little bit. So she was originally $9.99, if you can see that, and I got her for $6.99. So it isn't an amazing sale, but I still got her on sale from what she originally was, and I think she is super cool. So I'm gonna go ahead and take her out so that I can get a closer look at her, and I'm so excited to put her with my other two because I am excited about building my Barbie Extra collection, and the minis are adorable, and they look like Ever After High Dolls to me with their like big faces and just the way their eyes and stuff are shaped. So that's super fun. So here she is. She is so fun. She kind of gives me, I don't know. She kind of gives me Billie Eilish vibes. It's probably because of the like the green jumpsuit, but she is really, really pretty. I love her blue hair. It's wavy and she has like the part of it on the side. It's, it's, um, she's got gorgeous blue hair and then she has another part on the side that has flocking. So it's shaved. And then she has this blue beanie with a little smiley face on it, which is super cute. And she has articulation at the knee and also at the elbow. And she has these hoop earrings that are silver. And she came with a doll stand and a purse, which looks like this. It's kind of clear, has a little bit of a pearl sheen to it. 
and a pair of bright orange sunglasses with flames on the side, which are super fun. I don't know why they're orange because there's nothing in here that's orange, but that is okay. Can I just say though, I love her boots. They're sparkly and they're silver and I really, really like them. They're super glittery and she's just so fun and she also has sparkles in her eyes. I don't know if I can get close enough to show you or if I can get the, like, the camera to focus, but she has like in her eyes, she has um, like sparkles in her eyes. I don't know if you can see that, but that is super, super cool. And I'm gonna go ahead and move on. So these are the dolls that I got for my birthday from my mom. Um, and I filmed a video um, talking about the Barbie Extra dolls that I got from the Walmart clearance haul before. And I mentioned how there were two other Rainbow High dolls there that my parents bought me because they were on sale and they saved them to give them to me as a birthday gift. So I'm gonna show you those. These are the two that I mentioned in that video. And the first one is this gorgeous one. This is Coco Vanderbilt. Yes, that is her name. And she is this gorgeous dark blue one and I am so excited to have her. She is the third doll I have in this line and there are three more that I don't have, but I really, really like her. She's really pretty. And she was on sale for, oh gosh, I don't remember and the, price tag got ripped off. I think it was for the same price um, as the ones that I also got from that same Walmart. So I'm going to go ahead and cut to the chase and get her out of the box as well. Boogie. Hello. Sorry, my dog just came in. Anyway, as I was saying, I love how her dark skin looks so good with like the cobalt type color of her, like the blue. And she is super, super pretty. So I'm going to go ahead and take her out of the box now. All right, so she is so, so beautiful. I am in love with her. I love that she also has her edges done. She's got these gorgeous, bright gold, amber type eyes. And the whole rest of her is blue. She has this really fun um, outfit on. She has this top with like a leather corset type tank top over a like long sleeve shirt and this really fun sporty skirt with these high heels that are super, super detailed. And once again, let me just say that the clothes, the shoes, the doll in general is just made so, so well. And she has these really fun sunglasses on and she even has this hairstyle that's done and she has little braids. You can't really see the braids, but there's one right there. So she's got braids that go into her hair and it's really, really gelled. Like her hair is one solidified mass, but that is totally okay. And also she has these really fun hoop earrings that say R and H on them, like Rainbow High, and those are super, super fun. And she's got really pretty sparkly blue eye makeup, and it's really, really nicely done. I am so impressed with Rainbow High, guys. You have no idea. And she also came with a doll stand and a brush, of course. But she also came with an extra outfit, so she has this dress, which is very similar to the other outfit she's wearing, but it's white and it looks a little bit different. And then she has a Letterman jacket that says 86 with Rainbow High on it. And it says Magic on this side, and then it has this on the sleeve, and it is so well made. I am so, so impressed. And then she also came with a pair of little socks that are like a type of fishnet almost. They're a little bit thicker than that and then a pair of white and blue heels that look like this that are so well made and that's what they look like. And I am so, so, so excited to add these two to my collection. They are so beautiful and they're both very diverse. Um, the ones that I have, they're gonna be very different from those. So it's gonna be really fun to add them to my collection. And now we have one more Rainbow High doll to add and it is uh, one of the junior ones, the junior high, and this is Poppy Rowan. I think is her name and she is super cute too she's a gorgeous light orangey type color i have the red one so i have this one here on the back and i'm very excited this is my second junior one and um in that clearance section the first time i went when i didn't buy any of them they had the yellow one as well um but then when i went back and i got this one and Coco and then the other ones um she wasn't there anymore which is really sad but I am excited that I snagged this one and I'm not sure how much she was either the price tag got taken off um if you guys can see that which is kind of sad because I'm very curious but I'm gonna go ahead and take her out as well and I love these junior high ones I love the fact that they're a little bit smaller and their outfits are a little bit more youthful more innocent and they're just so so cute so I'm gonna go ahead and take these 
out as quickly as I can. And this is the last doll of the haul. So you guys are almost there. She is so, so cute. I didn't notice this until just now, but she has like a monarch butterfly type theme. Her bow is like monarch butterfly printed. And then like the sleeves of her top have that same print. And she has little sunflowers on her boots. She is so cute. She has the teensiest, lightest little spattering of freckles and her hair is so soft. At least this part is. This part is gelled, but this part's so soft. And she is so cute. She's got these denim um, like shorts that are white and these amazing boots and these amazing socks. Okay, here's the thing. The reason I call them amazing socks because that's kind of weird. I love it when dolls come with socks. I think that that adds so much detail because most humans wear socks with their boots or with their shoes. So when the dolls come with socks, I think that that's amazing. Henceforth, the amazing socks. I'm not just weird, I promise. So she has these socks and the boots are such great detail. And I love her little peasant blouse type top. I, once again, did not notice the monarch butterfly type theme, and that makes me love her even more because orange is kind of not as popular of a color with dolls. Like, they like the purple, they like the blue or the pink or the green, and, this, and like orange and yellow I feel like aren't quite as popular, but the butterfly theme adds so much more personality, and she is so youthful and innocent looking, and I love her so much, and she is so little compared to the other ones. Like, if you stand them next to each other, she is so much shorter. And she is so, so cute. And she also comes with this really, really well-made backpack. It has rainbow high all over it. And it's got a butterfly embroidered on it. And it's so nicely done. It's got this little part on the back that says rainbow. And then she also comes with a brush um, and a stand. Actually, wait. She did not come with a stand. This is the other doll stand. Um, she didn't come with a stand. Um, I don't know if she's supposed to. I don't think she does because there really isn't any place for a stand to be hiding out in the box and I don't see one. So that is it. She is so cute. Oh my gosh. So I'm so excited about all these dolls. They are all kind of different from each other. Even the Rainbow High dolls, none of them really look the same. And I am so incredibly excited to add all of these dolls to my collection. I don't get new dolls as often as I have been getting these past few months. So this has been such a fun treat for me. I hope these videos don't make you guys too bored because it's just me unboxing dolls. I know you guys like the thrift store hauls and the restoration videos more. But whenever I get new dolls, I do like to show them to you guys just because that's kind of the point of my channel is to just take you guys on my journey of being a doll collector and everything. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please consider giving it a like and commenting down below because that really does help my channel out. And I am so thankful that you guys keep watching even through my inconsistent uploads and my bad lighting and my very unprofessional format. But if you guys came for a really specially edited, like immaculate put together video, I just turn on the camera and just share my life with you guys. So I really appreciate you sticking me through um, and I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you for watching. Bye.